Hi everyone, this is Mr. Chang, and in this video, we're going to take a look at downloading and installing Roblox Studio, as well as a quick tour of Roblox Studio and taking a look at the home view, customizing your workspace, as well as minimizing and maximizing the ribbon. All right, so if you haven't already, go ahead and go to roblox.com slash create to download and install Roblox Studio. So in the middle of your screen, you'll see a button here that says start creating. Go ahead and click on that. And you'll be presented with a window that'll say download Roblox Studio right over here. Now, I already have Roblox Studio installed. So I'm just going to go ahead and click on Open Roblox. Now, I'm going to give it a second to fire up here. And the first screen that we're going to see is templates. Now, first time you log in, it will prompt you for your username and password. Please make sure that you use the same login password that you use when you first sign up for Roblox. Now, these templates are all provided by Roblox, and some of them already have assets and scripts installed. Periodically, Roblox adds additional ones, and some of them are quite cool. You can give them a try when you get a chance. We're going to stick to the base plate for the most part in this course, so I'm going to go ahead and click on plate, base plate right over here. Now, just to give you a quick tour of the windows that are currently open and your view may look a little bit different. So we're going to kind of customize it in a very particular way to be consistent. We have the toolbox over here on the left. We have the asset manager also on the left. In the middle, we have the output screen. Above my head, we've got the, or behind my head, we've got the properties. And then on the top here, we have the explorer. Now, what I want you to do here is go ahead and click on view and we're going to uncheck some of these features that are available to make it a little less busy on our screen so we're going to uncheck asset manager we're going to uncheck toolbox like so so your screen should look something like this and then i'm going to go back to the home view over here now the home view is showing you all of the frequently used tools that are available inside of Roblox Studio. And it's also known as the ribbon. Now, the next thing we're going to do is that I'm going to actually drag the Explorer all the way to our right over here. And then right underneath the Explorer, because we're going to be working with this a lot as well, I'm going to drag right underneath it the Properties window. Okay, so again, I have it configured in a slightly different way than it comes by default, I put the Explorer on the left hand side, kind of like Windows Explorer or the Mac Finder. This probably looks very familiar. We've got properties again underneath it and then output is down here. Now the next thing I'm going to do is that I'm going to switch the mode to dark mode, make it a little easier on the eyes. So I'm going to click on file and then studio settings. And then under Studio, under General, I'm going to go to Theme. And then from Theme, I'm going to go ahead and click on Dark over here. Now notice the background here changes to Dark Mode, which I think is a little bit easier on the eyes. All right, now the last thing I want to show you in this video is the Minimize and Maximize option for the ribbon. So top over here, you notice there's a top chevron. And if you click on it, you notice that the ribbon disappears, giving you a little bit more space on your screen. So if you're working with, let's say, a lot of objects, you want to see a little bit more, you can toggle that on and off. If you want to bring the home ribbon back again, you just click on the down. So up and down will toggle the ribbon on and off. All right, I hope that helps and I'll see you in the next video.